Alright, and we're back in this episode. Last time what we did was we made the platform move. So we made this platform move back and forth. Um, I can show you that real quick. And then this time what we're going to do is we're going to work on another kind of platform. So, I mean, I raised mine up off the ground a little bit. Um, and it's still going back and forth. So now we're going to work on a disappearing platform. Because often when you platform in games, there's like a platform that you jump on and then it disappears and you can fall and you gotta jump off so we'll make that one right here a disappearing platform so if you're ready to do that let's go ahead and jump in let's first begin by deleting that and also yo I've been talking about this for so many episodes I downloaded a new jump so let's put her jump in there first her new jump that I downloaded from Mixamo is uh, put it here in the animations so it's this one right here and if you want to change your animations let's go ahead and do that so first things first find your character find your animation blueprint then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and find that jump and that will be in the state machine double click on it and for this jump we just want to delete it and replace it with our new jump so back in her animations, her new jump is this one. Just plug that in, and her jump is now fixed. Thank God. Okay, so for platforms, let's go ahead and make a disappearing platform. Go back to your blueprints, go to your platforms folder, and we're going to duplicate the moving one. Only reason why is just because, I mean, it's easy to have. And we could just delete some code. So let's go ahead and drag that out. Put that onto our level. And this is going to be our disappearing platform. Okay. So back in our content, let's actually rename it disappearing platform. Underscore BP. <clears throat> okay, inside of your disappearing platform, we need to change this code up. So we don't want any of this to happen. This is the movement code. We can delete all of that. Okay, now in your viewport, what you need to do is compile and save. We can delete destination 1 and destination 2. But what we need to do is add a box collision. So add a box collision. Perfect. And now make it small so that it's on top of your uh, platform. So we'll make it like here. So when they are standing on this platform, then this box is going to register that they're on the platform. And that's all we need it to do. <clears throat> Compile and save. So now that we've got this box here, what we can do is we can make this platform disappear with this box. So, I want to change the extents a little bit, just like that. Because I want them to be able to hit all sides of it. Alright, cool. So, in your event graph, scroll down and write on overlap. And you know the drill. Third person character. So, after you cast your third person character... Um, that's basically saying when they walk into that box we want something to happen what do we want to happen well we can get this platform right here and drag it off actually add your box to the platform so they move together <clears throat> okay so now that you have the platform we can say set collision enabled and then you see is no collision here right so that's what, what's going to happen when they step on that box there's going to be no collision and we need the visibility of the platform so the visibility of the platform set visibility so we're going to set the visibility to invisible and we're going to set the box to not the box we're going to set the platform to no collision cool 
Um, but what you want to do is you want to give them some time to jump off, right? Because they jump on and then everything disappears. So give it a delay. So let's put a, like a, I don't know, two second delay. Two seconds is good enough time to make a decision. Okay. <clears throat> set the visibility, blah, 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 blah. And then after you set the visibility, let's bring it back. So delay. Because usually they disappear and then they come back. So we'll delay and we'll say the opposite of everything we just did. So delay for one second. And then we're going to take both of these here. Copy. And paste. And set the new visibility to visible. Or the collision to... Uh, you want the collision enabled. And you want the visibility visible. And then you want to make sure that these are hooked up to the platform as well. Perfect. And just to be clean, I'm going to hook my platform up to this one too. So we don't have two platforms in there. Boop. Boop. Alright, so what's happening here? Uh, when the player overlaps that box, it's going to wait two seconds, then it's going to disappear everything. Then it's going to wait one second, and then it's going to bring it back. Yeah, I like it. Let's, let's test it out. So, <clears throat> uh, let's try it out. So what will happen is, I'm riding on the one that's moving, and that one over there is not moving. And this is the invisible, the one that's going to disappear on me. To, ah! Uh, that's nice. So it did right, it did exactly what we wanted it to do. However, I need to change the timing. Alright, so check this. Here's my timing issue. My timing issue is this. This one second, I want it to be gone off the screen for maybe like three seconds or two seconds and then come back. And then that's pretty much good. So now our platform will disappear and you have to jump on it or jump off of it before it disappears. Let's try it out one more time. She's riding, she's riding. Our jump animation looks so much better. Jumping. Oh, it's gone. Yes. So that's exactly what we wanted. Um, yeah, the platform is going to disappear. So perfect. Um, if you guys enjoyed that one, that was pretty simple. I mean, but it is one of those games where, you know, the platforms have to disappear like that. So in either way, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad y'all joined me for this one. Um, next time, since we got enough platforms, like, I want to let you know also on this moving one, you could take the destination and you could put it up and down. So these moving one can move left, right, up, down, horizontal, all kinds of ways. Um, this disappearing one will just disappear. I don't know if we can make like a rotating one or something like that. Maybe we'll do that at the end. But other than that, what I wanted to show you guys next episode was some environmental damage factors. So like I said, like fireballs and stuff shooting out the wall spikes and stuff like that so we'll handle that on the next episode appreciate y'all for joining me on this one i'll holla at you next time peace